We are here today to negotiate a contract that works for the nurses and Alina Health. The proposals we are bringing forward are intended to address very specific priorities of the nurses and to advance the nursing profession. Through adopting, adoption of these proposals, we, working as a team with Alina Health, can enhance the retention and recruitment of nurses and make significant increases in patient experiences. Our proposal on staffing, our nurses, our nurse to patient ratio proposal is brought forward with the strong belief that the only meaningful way of improved patient outcomes, reduced readmission rates, improved patient satisfaction, and increased patient experience scores is to maximize the time that nurses spend in direct patient care. The experience of care perceptual, is perceptual. As much as it is a physical need, patients need the responsiveness of their nurses and other team members. We are asking Alina Health to be a leader in the community and address what is a safe number of patients that nurses care for. We ask Alina Health to lead the change of the staffing narrative from saving pennies to saving lives. Let's talk openly about what will improve the care environment for our patients. Further on education, our education proposals recognize the need to increase reimbursement for baccalaureate and master's DMP degrees and to recognize that education at an advanced degree is a benefit to the hospital. Advanced training, whether it is in an MBA program or a master's DNP in nursing enriches the care environment and the maturity of thought and interactions not only with patients but with other members of the care team. I would like to speak on a proposal for workplace safety. Our proposal for increased education, dialogue, monitoring regarding violent episodes in the workplace is crucial. Protecting our nurses and other team members who are caring for our patients is not new, but the measures that are taken to lessen the episodes of injury cannot occur solely in the yearly education. Regular dialogue and interventions must be changed as the nature of our society changes. Our proposal does that. It provides nurses with mechanisms to ensure a safe work environment. On our proposal for hours, day-night rotations and use of consecutive shifts with eight and 12 hour combinations are out of date and are not needed as a regular component of staffing. Day night rotating shifts put nurses at risk for illness and injury. Studies have shown that rotating day nights are a precursor to diabetes, heart disease, depression, and sleep disorders. The move to straight shifts is essential for health and well being of our profession. Let's take care of the nurses who care for all of us. Posting and granting of positions. Our proposal is intended to make transparent the process for posting and granting of positions. The current process is unresponsive to internal applicants. Nurses cannot access available positions and they do not have meaningful information about the process and timelines for filling positions. The lack of transparency leads to frustration and creates mistrust. Applicants feel that they're lost in the system and not valued as employees due to the delayed response in application processing and scheduling of interviews. Leaves of absence. Our proposal is to move away from the current outdated leave framework and update the ability of nurses to take leaves to care for themselves and family members. There is a need to change the outdated system used to provide for FMLA. As caregivers, we want our patients to have their families involved in their care. We know that it's important in transitioning care and in both restoring health and at end of life care. Yet, Alina denies nurses the ability to be there to care for their families when they need care, unless they jump over the hurdle Alina set and work at least 1,250 hours, over a .6 FTE in a year. It's also time to redirect resources away from requiring nurses to frequently recertify chronic health conditions. Nurses who have certification for intermittent leave ought not to have to prove that need more than once each year. Once their chronic health condition has been initially certified, the nurse ought to be able to focus on their health, not on unnecessary paperwork. 
These are our statements to the employer about health insurance. We also think it is fair to talk about the fact that the nurses and other members at Cambridge Hospital and Clinic, Buffalo Hospital, St. Francis Medical Center, River Falls Area Hospital, Owatonna Hospital, and New Ulm Medical Center do not have a seat at the table. These employees are, however, immediately impacted by the decisions regarding health insurance plans that are proposed by Alina Health without a right to collectively bargain these changes. All of these labor contracts are tied to the same health plans Alina now proposes to eliminate. 6,000 M&A employees and 4,000 of their spouses and dependents are impacted by these proposed changes. Your proposals dramatically affect the lives of over 10,000 people. For the many years, Alina Health and M&A have worked together to re view health insurance issues and see if there are ways to make changes that meet our nurses' interests and Alina's. Alina Health, you have made proposals for at least the last nine years to eliminate M&A health plans and or benefits, each time with the message of change. Change is needed. Over the course of the past nine years, M&A members have worked with Alina Health to successfully resolve concerns brought by Alina Health. In 2012, we met with Alina Health for eight months to identify common interests. M&A agreed to Alina Health offering core plans with the M&A plans, and Alina in exchange agreed to install the PLUS plan in some M&A contracts that did not previously have access. Alina Health also agreed to not bring up health insurance in any of the 2013 negotiations. Change is now characterized by comparing management's proposals to eliminate the M&A health plans as somehow being the same as upgrading to a more modern, efficient car and a more modern, cost-effective program to reward members who do not seek health care. $10 million in savings to Alina is $1,000 a year loss for every woman, man, and child that currently participates in the M&A plans. That could mean a $3,000 to $5,000 for a family. This is a reduction in salary that M&A members will never see again. 2% a year in exchange for $10 million for Alina. This is not change anyone needs.